So we have been doing this Liberty Circle Vigil since March 11th last year. We started March 11th, 2022. And we actually stopped in July when uh, Ranil Vikram Singh took over as president because we really thought he's the person who is going to bring about change for our country. You know, he's a seasoned, very experienced politician. We had a lot of hope. But since he took over, we actually saw so much of negativity. We didn't see anything positive happening in our country. And then we started to come and stand here again, showing that we are still here to show dissent about the bad governance. Because last year, Lal, all the cabinet ministers resigned. So we were very happy that we we're going to get some better caliber, good quality people to lead our country. And what does Ranil do? He goes and puts all the crooks and all back into the parliament. Right? And that's not what Daragalaya wanted. That's not what any of us wanted. We need good caliber, good quality people to lead our country. And we have people like that. Why are they not given the prominence that they need to take our country out of this mess? You know, we had all sorts of promises from Ranil after he took over, but we haven't really seen much coming forth. Yes, we don't have petrol fuels. Yes, we don't have gas fuels and uh, power cuts. But that's about it. If you look at the prices of things in the shops, so expensive. Look at our health sector. So many people suffering, no medicines. They can't afford the medicines. Uh, doctors can't do their operations. They don't have the material or the equipment. Our health sector is coming. I mean, some of the hospitals have closed. We don't know what's happening. We have one of the best health sectors or the health um, ministries in the world. You know, people were in awe of Sri Lanka and the, the amount of wonderful doctors, nurses and the actual medical care that our country was offering. Look at our education system, right? We have families now who have to choose which child to send to school because they can't afford to send everybody to school anymore, right? Children don't have meals. They are depending on the schools to provide meals for them because the parents just can't afford even months for a meal, some of them. So as much as people say Sri Lanka is now on the road to recovery, our economic crisis is over, I'm sorry, all of us standing here at Liberty Circle today, we don't believe that. We don't believe that at all. We have um, a protest like this at Kumigasaya as well every Sunday. We have a round table discussion. Yesterday we met with Honourable Minister Shanakian. Last week we met with Honourable Minister uh, Harsha De Silva. And we hope to speak to more politicians. We have spoken to wonderful guests like Kushan Gunawardner. We had Mr. Hijaz Hezbollah. We had Mr. Fali Apiris. Um, we had Swastika Rulingam and Marissa. We had, we've had some wonderful people who have shared their views, their opinions on the bad governance of our country and how we can find solutions to help our country come out of this mess. That is what we are endeavouring to do now. It's not just standing here and holding a board. We are now taking it one step further where we are actually meeting with people. We are talking to people to see how. How can we as a common citizen help? How can we do our part? Because at the end of the day, the change has to start from us. We are talking about system change, political change. But we need to change first. We need to stop the corruption. We need to change ourselves and our outlook. We need to have a more positive, a broader outlook and all of that. If we don't change, if we don't walk the talk, how can we expect other people to do the change for our country? Right? We have to make the change. And don't forget, we are hearing that there's election coming next year. Right? This is what we're hoping and this is what we're hearing. Remember, all of us, we have a duty to our country to vote wisely. We are the ones who have voted all of these people into parliament. So we can't blame them and say, why aren't they doing this? Why aren't they doing that? We are the ones who voted and put them there. So we did the wrong thing when we were voting last time. Let's not make that same mistake this time. We need to look for good caliber people and vote for people who we feel will lead our country out of this mess and bring back the glory to Sri Lanka once again. We were the pearl of the Indian Ocean. What has happened to us now right so this was this is the reason we are here today we had two other protests this week as well where we protested in favor of palestine 
Uh, we had a walk yesterday from the Palestine Embassy to the UN office on Gaudalokamavata. And then on Monday, we actually gathered outside the UN office. Because I think right now, it is a world issue. And it is a global issue. And I think if Sri Lanka also doesn't talk against the atrocities that are happening in the Gaza Strip, I think we are really doing a disservice. We want change. We want people to accept us. We need to be empathetic and sympathetic to people around the world as well. Right? So just as much as we want change in our country, we want justice for all the people around the world, not just for Sri Lankans. So that, those are some of the protests that have been happening this week. Thank you, Lal, for coming today.